nice ass. Thank you. I'm talking to you. When the guy says nice ass, I say thank you. No matter who he's talking to. My sister used to live here, then she moved to Portland, Maine. She took the dog. Didn't even leave me a bottle opener. I'm like a dude. I nailed a curtain to the wall the other day. I'm turning into the bachelor I always wanted. Yeah, I don't have any stuff. My fucking ex-wife made sure of that. Wenzel. I'm in a bar where the sun's still up, you know what I'm saying? My old man used to thrice. What do you care, right? God. So so where are you from? Like the Midwest or something? I'm from Boston. Boston! No shit! My old man's from Boston. I, I haven't been back there forever, but you get back there much, Munchkin? Yeah, I go back pretty frequently. Tell you what, give me a shot, hot shot. Quiet today, It was. Was that handsome? There you go. That's six dollars, please. Listen to the manners on this one. Holy shit! I don't know the last time someone asked me so politely for money. Uh. I don't respond well to terms of endearment. I always feel like they're delivered one of two ways. Either they're so tonally flat, they sound sarcastic, or they're, like, highly exaggerated. Here you go, kitten. They never sound like anything that's meant to be loving and affectionate. Maybe I'll have one more beer. That's me. Um, She's ready for you. I don't think I have my resume. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but we gotta go right now. She has lunch in 30 minutes, and Catherine cannot miss a feeding! <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I can see you. No need to punch the teak. This is Kendra. She's one of the applicants for the sales position. She doesn't have her resume. I forgot my resume folder. Do you have lipstick on? I think so. I, I should. Hmm. So tell me about your morning. Tell me about the accident with the resume. I, I was trying to buy a banana. So you left the house without eating? No, I had toast. You brought the banana for the commute? You thought you might get hungry again later? Or you were bringing me the banana, like a third world country gift of respect? I just like to have a banana in my bag. Okay, okay, interesting. I'll admit that I will. I think it's interesting we're talking about bananas in your bag before your job qualifications. Okay, miss, I have to have a banana in my bag, Cunningham. What qualifies you as being a great salesperson? Well, I really, I really enjoy people. I have great relationship building skills, and my follow through is terrific. Oh, terrific, huh? Yeah, terrific. She defends her terrific claim. Anyway, I, I have experience. I actually sold Kenworth trucks. Your car's here. Mm, chop, chop. Time to go, Kenworth Kendra. You know, there is something I like about you. I can't put my finger on it, but I like it. Come back for round two. Round two? What's round two? The sales presentation, hello. Going good, really good. I just made a boatload of money on one trade. One trade! Here to celebrate. Well, we can definitely help you spend your money. Got any specials? Mm, the draft beer is $4. Uh, trying to stay away from beer, you know, keep my girlish figure. <laughs> Besides beer, um, 
What's the cheapest thing you got? Besides you? No <laughs> kidding. Uh, the five dollar well. Haven't I seen you on OK Cupid? No, I don't think so. Match. I, I, you've totally hit me up online before. <laughs> it, no, it's not me. I do not do online dating. You know, people aren't on there only to date. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Ooh, all business. I like that in a woman. Uh, okay, I'll just have a uh, Jack and Coke. How much is that? $85. That includes the tip. Whew. Um, I guess I'll just have a uh, well whiskey and Coke then. <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm from Boston. Boston? Yeah. I thought you were going to say Sweden <laughs> or <laughs> something. Jai <laughs> Elskadek. That is Norwegian. And that is $5. Does that include tip? Good one. She's totally hit me up on OKCupid okay before I recognize her. You do online dating? Bye, thank you. You know that guy? I wouldn't say I know him. He looks really familiar. Yeah? Okay, Cupid? Good one. Hey, Kendra, I think I got a roommate for you. You're looking for a roommate, huh? He's gonna be in New York City for three months. You had me at he. Oh. You'll really like him. He's a great guy. I'm just a temporary spot. All right. Give him my number. You know what? Actually, don't give him my number because if I call him and he doesn't call me back, I can't take it. I, I gave my number to two guys last week and neither one of them called me. Online dating, I'm telling you, you gotta get in on it. Become a lesbian, we always call. You know, my lesbian friend hates when I use the word lesbian. I thought I was your only lesbian friend. Mm, well, she recently converted. But honestly, next time I give my number to a guy, I'm gonna be like, this number's only good for 24 hours. I'll explain when you call. Okay, well, I will text you his phone number, but do not abuse it. You know, haven't I seen- Don't even. <laughs> no. You said it was four? I hate dating. Every time I go on a date, I want to be like, do me a favor, punch me in the face and go down on me. Because that's all it's going to boil down to. Whether it's one night, six months, a year, all it's going to boil down to is some mild head trauma coupled with an attempt at sexual satisfaction. Let's get it out of the way right up front. Hey! Hey. How are you? Good to see you. How was practice? Yeah. I noticed you have your Brazil shorts on. Did you go to university then? No. Uh, wasn't really book smart. Well, street smart counts. Nah, not that either. You know, I just played soccer. As an adult, you never really know when you're involved with someone stupid. As kids, we knew right away. They were in special classes or they had a crusty nose. They had a stupid tell. But as adults, you can be involved with someone for six, seven months before you're like, oh, you're an imbecile. That's why we're having so many problems. First date, I always ask to see the sixth grade report card. Because stupid starts early. I would say it was a bad date, yes. No, I didn't wear a dress. We weren't going to a sock hot mom. It's not 1940 people wear t-shirts and jeans on dates now. My mother's one of these people who's overdressed for every occasion. Her favorite look is like the captain of a ship. She wears like starch pants, a white fitted blazer. Everyone at TJ Maxx thinks she's in the corporate office. I do know Skype. I know it exists. I don't know how it works. I don't know. All right. I love you too. Bye. You are killing it. Thank you. They were super fun. They were a good crowd. Nice set, Cunningham. You sound surprised. You're almost as funny as a guy. You know, you're the only chick comic that ever made me laugh. Wow. Are you flirting with me? I don't do flirting. He's a real charmer, huh? He's more miserable than ever. He just got let him he's whining about all the jokes they won't let him do. Kendra, I got a show and I need a chick. You got a dirty set? I give you 50 bucks for 20 minutes and all the free drinks. But you gotta get there on your own. It's about an hour up the metro north. Stand-up comics are like the Mexican day workers of the entertainment industry. We're all standing around just hoping that somebody will offer us work. 
they're like, hey, you want to do a gig on this sinking ship? I'm like, yeah, I need to work on my drowning material. Thank you. When guys find out how old I am, I feel like they start looking at me a little more closely. Like, suddenly they're contemplating buying a vintage convertible. And they're like, well, it's in good shape. It moves fast. I like that. It looks great with the top off. But there's really no way of knowing how many owners this thing has had. And how long the body's going to keep up. I have a funny feeling I'm going to throw a lot of money into this thing. That's it.